And the second question is, what defines you? And my reply is, most people throughout history have been conditioned to believe that a person's value is defined by their acts and deeds. If a person is good, their deeds are heroic, altruistic, or whatever the popular idea of good is at that time. Until the 20th century, it was popularly held that the ends justify the means also. So many atrocities were committed in the name of God and spreading his good word. Meanwhile, some have held that our externalizing acts and deeds are motivated by our interior psychologies. So it is not only that we, so it is not only what we do, but even what we think that defines us. A tree, they argue, has no choice but to grow. It must grow or it will die. And so it grows. A human, being the most evolved form of animal life on earth, has an essence, a soul, or a psyche. That is, each of us has a self-aware consciousness of our own. And this burdens us with responsibility for our acts and deeds in a way that no tree nor any other animal can be. This, it is reasoned, justifies our species' development of world-ending bombs. <laughs> 